What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here bringing you Splinter Lens content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right. I wanted to just take a quick moment here to kind of have everybody take a collective deep breath and temper our expectations before we head into the general sale, which is slated to begin in about 24 hours from this recording. So I'm looking over here at the price of SPS. We have now dipped under 15 cents and, um, it, you know, it, it seems as though we are going to continue on a bit of a downtrend. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video, because as you can see, a lot of the market is actually green, you know, and again, I mean, we're, we're still down. Bitcoin is still in the low 40s, but we're not in the 30s. <laughs> or at least 39, which is where where we dipped down to previously or in the 41 or 42 range, it seems as though Bitcoin is trying to push higher and higher. And while that is happening, we are seeing SPS continue to go down further. So this is what we've talked about previously, where, you know, SPS is somewhat decoupled from the market in this sense. And a big part of that is the fact that people are selling it off because they're getting it for free, either through the airdrop, through staking rewards, whatever the case is. And the focus right now is on Chaos Legion. So as we get into the general sale, and whether the general sale lasts an hour or you know a month, I do believe we will continue to see significantly more downward pressure on SPS. So I'm not gonna like make a prediction on how low we'll go. What I'm trying to do is have everybody be prepared for this. Everybody is putting, and I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people are putting their financial energy into cards, right? Chaos Legion general sale is about to begin. Everybody is, is expecting the card prices to dip as we get this massive surge in supply with people opening packs and, uh, you know, those cards potentially flooding the market. Maybe not as much as we thought, but you never know. We'll see. There, there will definitely be more cards in circulation. Therefore, at least market volume should be higher as people, you know, as, as people are trying to trade what they have for what they don't have. And that could potentially create some downward pressure on card prices. So here's the thing. You know, I, I've been on the mindset that I don't think that we're going to sell out within the first 24 hours. It'd be cool. And I'm not I'm not rooting against it, just to be clear. I'm not trying to fight. It's just I it's a lot of packs, it's a lot of money, and there's just a lot of unknowns. And if everybody's expecting something, <laughs> if everybody's expecting something, usually the opposite tends to happen is just what I've learned. So, you know, I, I can appreciate and I'm actually excited by all the, the hype and FOMO that's come around here and everybody expecting this to, you know, absolutely go to the moon. I just, I just don't see it yet in terms of, um, in terms of, in terms of the card sale. Now, <clears throat> for SPS specifically, I definitely can see us dipping further below at this point because everybody's going to be taking all of the free SPS that they have. At least a good portion of people will be taking the SPS that they're getting airdrop daily or that they're getting from staking rewards and flipping that back into cards. So selling it for DEC or turning it into credits, whatever the case is. And here's actually here's the tricky thing. If somebody turns it into credits, I do wonder if that counts as downward sell pressure or if the team accepts it at its market value. So therefore, SPS isn't necessarily being sold literally. It is just being, uh, I guess, traded for whatever its market value is from one hand to another. But then again, that is still, you know, less... Um, there, there's more volatility with that just because people are trading it rather than holding it uh, and creating any kind of supply shock through that. So we're at 14.9 cents right now as it stands. Again, I can see this going further. And the main point of this video, and I apologize for taking so long to get there, is I am... I'm prepared for there to be quite a bit of FUD. There's already been a good amount of FUD throughout the Discord. There's already been a good amount of FUD throughout Reddit and all that. But if we see prices dip further, if we see two things, one, the general sale failed to sell out. You're going to have a lot of people who will be disappointed and think maybe the game is not as popular as we thought it was and therefore start to backtrack on just how much they support the game, start to reduce their investment or you know maybe just get double-minded about things. That combined with the price of SPS continuing to dip, and that's why I'm trying to lay out the reasons why SPS will continue to dip. 
uh, is is what I want to just temper everybody's expectations for. This is going to be a hopefully short-term dip, right? Because we know there is utility to SPS coming. And more importantly, we know there is a deadline to the end of the private investors uh, unlock and the airdrop. Granted, that deadline is still roughly six months away, but it is coming, right? And so who knows? Can SPS go back down to two cents, you know, or 1.8 cents, which is where the investors initially got it? Absolutely. And that would that would suck, especially if you bought it at a dollar because your your investment is pretty much at zero at that point. Right. You're down 98 percent if we get down to those levels. Do I think we will? I don't know. I don't think so, because the more and more SPS continues to dip, the more, uh, you know, long term holders like myself continue to buy it. Now, I am also saying that I may be part of that downward pressure because I am planning to try to max out my deck as much as uh, as much as possible during the general sale or at least over the next week and a half, two weeks, however long this kind of volatile card repricing or market, you know, uh, price discovery period goes for the cards. And if there are opportunities for me to grab cards at certain prices and I want to reinvest, I'm not going to take any of the SPS that I'm staking out. I'm probably going to use the airdrops that I have coming in as I'm getting close to reaching my SPS goal, right? In terms of the amount of SPS that I want to be holding. So that being said, I think that I, I'm not trying to, you know, spread any any kind of fear out there. In fact, I'm trying to spread the counter to that. I'm still very long-term bullish on this game, but realistically, Realistically, I'm trying to lay out the reasons for why I feel like there will be uh, a bit of a downturn, continued downturn, and who knows, potentially even prolonged downturn as people will try to uh, level up their decks as much as possible. Meaning that if the general sale doesn't sell out and these cards are on sale for a while and the market is still going through its card repricing for the next month maybe, we may see people continue to sell their SPS because those cards have not appreciated yet in value and people would rather flip the free SPS that they're getting and not free, but the airdropped or staking rewards SPS that they're getting and putting that into the cards. So this will be a very dynamic environment between SPS and cards. So that's the kind of relationship that I'm trying to set up here and so much really hinges on how many packs sell out or sell on, the, on day one and how many packs get opened right over the next couple of weeks because keep in mind a lot of people are buying packs with the intention of holding them for months or even years at this point knowing that there is a good clean maybe 5 10x in the future once we get to future sets you just look at what happened with untamed or dice or alpha and beta and people are taking the long term view on this those who have the capital to do so will probably do so so that's all i have for you guys in this video today just want to want to throw my realistic cap on and you know i don't get me wrong i'm super pumped for this i'm very hyped for the general sale i plan on going ham and getting as many cards as i can buying a bunch more packs if possible uh, but just looking at the way that the market is working wanted to share at least my thought process or at least this you know the, the insights that i'm having here hopefully spark a discussion if you if you disagree with me i am very very curious to hear your points uh, but that is where we stand and that's what I'm expecting. So regardless, I wish you all the best of luck in the upcoming general sale and the absolute chaos that will ensue following that timer hitting zero. So I will catch you all in the game and I will see you in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your day.